Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. We've been doing this little mini series of Amazon baseball card pickups. I've got a third one here. The other two, not that great. In fact, I'd probably give the average grade a, a D on the other two. This one here got 4.3 out of five stars on Amazon with 150 ratings. And it is only $18, but it guarantees hits. So there are guaranteed hits in here. It is called... Cosmic Gaming Collections MLB Baseball Hit Collection Gift Box and Collecting Guide 100 Official MLB Cards includes two relics. Man, that's just such a long name. I can't even read it all off. It includes two relics, autograph, or jersey cards guaranteed. Perfect starter set. They also have a basketball and a football version as well. Those ones are $35. The baseball one is much cheaper. And P. Wirt has decided to... Give it a go here. P. Wirt is the Patreon member sponsoring this video. So all of these boxes or jewel cases will be his. So is there anything good on Amazon for baseball cards? I haven't found anything yet. Maybe today will be the day. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do post videos every single day. A lot of times we have two in a day when you include our live streams. We'll be live tonight again with a live auction. All right, so they have the, I, I'll tell you what, I really hate jewel cases really badly. I've uh, just always had bad luck with them. And let's see if I can eventually get this opened up here with this security tag on here, the security tape. I thought I got through. Looks like I am through. All right, so there we go. All right, so p -Wirt, let's see what we can do here for you. There's one guaranteed. Uh, maybe it's two guaranteed. The, the title definitely says two. Um, two guaranteed hits. Two relics, autograph, or jersey cards. Maybe I'll bring the, uh, bring the uh, iPad over and show you. So here we go. We have our guaranteed hits. We have an autograph here of Angel Guzman, Sign of Greatness from Topps Heritage. That one is from 2005. And our second hit. So we do have two hits here. The second one is going to be... A superscripts card of, is that Sterling Hitchcock? There's no name on the front of it. I think that's a blast from the past. It's Sean Henn. Sean Henn. So two guys that most of us have never heard of before. Now let's go through the rest and see what we have in here. It's a starter set, so there might be some rookie cards. I hope there's more modern than junk wax. There's Juan Marichal with a $2 tag on it. Alexis Gomez with the rookie card with a 75 cent tag on it. We got good old Dave West. Here comes the Junk Wax Avalanche. Rex Hudler. There's Hideo Nomo, who was former rookie of the year. We've got a Jordan Betts. I wonder how many cards of these will actually be any good. There's Gary Carter, who's a Hall of Famer, 1986 tops. So. I'm really not expecting too much out of these. Like I said, Amazon charges about, uh, I mean, these sell for $18, almost $18 on Amazon. So Amazon probably takes like 30 to 40% of that. So these people probably, whoever put this together, is probably not clearing all that much. They might make tops, $10 per jewel case. There's Tommy Lasorda and Cal Ripken Jr. in there. Lots of junk wax. Mike Piazza. I like the fact that we are getting some Hall of Famers and noteworthy players. A bunch of 88 Fleer all in a row there. There's B.J. Upton, Desmond Jennings, Dennis Eckersley, who's a Hall of Famer. We have some 2017 Topps card there. Chanho Park rated rookie Pedro Martinez is a Hall of Famer. There's good old Esteban Loiza. You probably all know the story about him by now. Paul Malder, 1991. There's Whitey Herzog. Looks like this one belonged in like a six-year-old's collection at some point. That card is banged up. Derek Lee, top's finest. There's Raphael Devers, 2021 Anthony Rizzo. A Trevor Story rookie card. So there's some nice ones in here. I think that out of the, so far, just from this small sample size, another Hall of Famer, Jeff Bagel, another Hall of Famer there. And Lee Smith. We've got some 88 Donruss on the back and Nolan Ryan there. So I think out of the three that I've opened so far, small sample size, I know, but this one might be potentially the best one yet. I still probably wouldn't uh, want to buy a bunch of these or maybe any at all. But let's, uh, let's go through all five of them to see what else we could potentially have in here. Go ahead and rip through the super high-tech security tape. And 
let's see what we have. Now I'm a pro at that. I guess the autographs will be on top. Well, yep, they are on top. They were kind of sticking there. So we'll see who those autographs are in just one second. Let's go through the base cards first. Then John Montefusca. There's no way that is a dollar card. What, Jan Gomes, rookie, $2? I don't think so. So I wonder when these cards were purchased. Are they purposely putting a sleeved card in to make you feel good in every pack? Maybe there's a Corey Snyder. That is going to be a fan favorites uh, reprint right there. Al Sheen Dinch, Hall of Famer. It's a reprint. Good old paper loss on that Bubba Trammell. Gary Sheffield, 90 Fleer, second year card. Should be a Hall of Famer. I never really understood this card of Jamie Navarro. Always kind of irked me a little bit. Being all lazy in the dugout, just laying down. We've got Ken Caminetti, 89 tops. 89 tops, the year that I got into baseball cards. That's a cool card there. The Kmart Cal Ripken Jr., not too shabby. And we're back to a whole bunch of 88 Fleer once again, which is kind of weird. Maybe each box gets a guaranteed, like, uh, 10 to 15 88 Fleer cards. Michael Franco right there. There's Mad Bomb. I think the first box was better overall. There's Ian Happ rookie card, so that's not too bad. Jordan Montgomery rookie card. Sean Green, we've got Ramon Martinez right there. He, remember Ramon Martinez? Everybody was all about him. There's an Albert Bell rookie card. And then his little brother stole the show from him. Zach Granke, 19 Chrome. Like that one. There's Albert Pujols, 2021. Yandy Diaz. Back to some 2017s. We've got Tom Glavin. That's going to be a Hall of Famer right there. Another Hall of Famer. Jim Tomey. Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer. Scott Brocious. Sports Illustrator for Kids. Some 88 Donruss once again. And kind of weird how the collation is kind of similar to the last one in the fact that they got the 88 Fleer and then the 88 Donruss at the end. Even a, like a Gypsy Queen card at the bottom with the Todd Helton. The last one had a Nolan Ryan. Let's check out the autographs first. We have Wesley Whistler. So the I guess the big question is, are we going to find an autograph of somebody that actually is playing in the big leagues that we know of? I have never heard of Wesley Whistler, and I'm sure you haven't either. And the second autograph, it's going to be Josh Kinney. Josh Kinney, first Bowman Chrome Auto. So these are autos that you would find. I call them dollar autos, autographs of players that nobody wants are usually found in the bargain bin at card shows for a buck. And uh, I think that's so far the type of cards we've been finding. But this company here, this Cosmic Gaming, is doing something a little bit different by trying to get you to buy their product by giving you a guaranteed autograph. So I understand it. It's Imagine if there's no autographs in here, then man, this would really be not worth $18. That's for darn sure. All right, so we have the autographs once again there at the very forefront there. We'll put those right there, and we'll get into those once we get through this next box. We'll see if the collation's the same with some junk wax and maybe some 2017 tops again, maybe some 88 Fleer once again. There's the 89 tops. We have some 06 tops in this one. Hey, Mickey Mantle's in there. Nice. I like it. That's a good card right there. If you believe Beckett, that, prob pro that card is probably worth like $4. That's a card, though, that if you get lucky, you can find it in a, I don't know, like a dollar bin. Ricky Henderson, 88, or check that, 89 score, 88 highlight. I used to love this set. I, I fell in love with the 89 score set as a kid. I had a factory set and man i used to look at those cards all the time so i have a special soft spot in my heart for 89 score there is fred mcgriff now an all-star we got 94 tops cards right here maybe replacing the 88 for your bobby bow 89 tops hey barry bonds in there as well used to love that card as a kid and there is a Jose Canseco and Greg Litton. So I'll be interested to hear your comments about this product. And especially if you watch the other two Amazon videos in this series, I will remind you what they were. And you can let me know how this stacks up to the others. The first was three bros in a card store. It was their jumbo boxes, 600 count jumbo boxes. There's Tony Gwynn, 1990 Don Ross MVP card, another Hall of Fame card right there. The second was last week. We had those $21. It's kind of like a ripoff of World's Greatest Pack Chase. It was 100 cards in unopened packs. And it was like a 90 Fleer jumbo pack, a 90 score pack, 
Uh, you might recall that. You can, uh, 92 triple play was in there a lot. There's John Smoltz, who's a Hall of Famer. I think right now that I am going to put this one in first out of those three. But um, we still have some way, a little ways to go here. We're only three-fifths of the way through the video. Hey, we have it. Hey, this is going to be a more current card, right? Is this possibly like a 2019 card? It's a Mitch White. We've heard of Mitchell White. So Mitch White autograph, our first card of a name that I recognize, and Ruddy Giron. Don't recognize Ruddy whatsoever. So we get a 2021 uh, autograph, which is pretty cool. Never have heard of Ruddy, though. I think Ruddy's a guy that maybe just uh, found his way out of baseball after not too long. Another no-name autograph. But the Mitchell White, not too bad. We'll take it. A little bit of name recognition there. I've pulled that card probably several times in the breaks. Speaking of breaks, we'll be live tomorrow. We have some super mixers. 10 box super mixers on Patreon if you'd like to get in on that. It is filling right now. And I made a little bit of variety, so I think I created four different four different lineups for these 10 box mixers. Uh, one of them has a flawless case involved, one of those flawless briefcases. Ryan Gillespie rookie card, dollar. I wouldn't pay a dollar for that. Neither would I pay a dollar for the Reed Gorecki. I wouldn't pay probably 10 cents for those. But, you know, those cards were probably labeled way back, I don't know, 10 years ago or something like that. There's Ruben Sierra, 87 tops record breaker. A cool card. Ruben Sierra's rookie year, 87 tops. There's Zach Duke, Jim Edmonds. Good career from Jim Edmonds. Kind of not all that different. If you uh, look at the overall numbers, not all that different than Carlos Beltran's when it's all said and done. Beltran has Edmonds beat in some categories by a little bit because uh, he played more games at Edmonds, but some of those um, like on base, on base plus slugging, slugging percentage, Edmonds hasn't beat. So Jim Essie in 81 Donruss, that's the oldest card that we've seen so far. We're back to the lineup here of 88. Good old, I feel like we've had Dave Smith staring at us in three out of these four boxes. Good old Mickey Hatcher. What else do we have here? Hey, there's Juan Encarnacion. He had a really, really bad ending to his career. Derek Jeter, if you don't know the story about Juan Encarnacion, he was he was a decent player, and he was standing in the on-deck circle just waiting his turn to take an at-bat when the player at the, at the plate fouled one off. There's Dave Winfield, and he fouled it off directly into Juan Encarnacion's eye socket. And fractured his eye socket. Screwed up his vision, and he was never able to play baseball again. Hey, speaking of Carlos Beltran, there we go. Carlos Beltran tops Chrome from 2011. Cal McPherson, Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Back to some 2017. And our good old junk wax, John Smoltz is in there. He's a Hall of Famer. There's the 88 Don Ross. And we wrap things up with an A-Rod, Bowman's best in this one. Let's check out the autographs. We have one recognizable name. None of these autographs have been great, but let's see if we can get a recognizable name here. All right, next up we have Jesus Tavares. I do not remember Jesus Tavares. This is one of those Leaf like 97 signature cards or something like that. And we have another Marlin. Do you know who he is? I'm going to have to cheat and look at the back because I don't remember him either. It looks like it says Ryan June or something like that. J-U-E-H-N. His name is Ryan Tucker. So <laughs> Don't remember Ryan Tucker at all. And um, so, so that's eight autographs we've pulled so far from this Cosmic Collections, and they've been kind of underwhelming. Next and final box. Thank you once again for being here, everybody. Hope you'll check us out in our auction tonight. Tomorrow, Mystery Box Monday, planning a live stream tomorrow night. We've got J. Claus Series 9. Is it Series 9? I don't even know. It's J. Claus Series something, and it is... Um, a little more affordable. He's cut the price, and there's some really nice chasers in there. Like, uh, for example, one of them, Julio Rodriguez Auto. I think he said it's out of 50 as one of the chasers. We'll be putting that for sale maybe tonight on Patreon. If not tonight, then sometime tomorrow morning. So here we go, our last box. Thanks once again for being here, everybody. Let's see if we can get on out of here with a at least a nice stack of cards. There's Gary Sheffield's second-year card. We've got Greg Maddox, who's a Hall of Famer. Darren Dalton, David Leiper. I do not remember him whatsoever. Don Robinson, George Henrik. We've got some 92. Don Ross, Cecil Fielder, 
big, big name back in 1990 around the hobby. There's Steve Sachs, Doug Drabick, who won a Cy Young Award in, what was it, 91. Gabe Kapler, Barry Larkin, who's a Hall of Famer. Tony Tarasco, remember that name from the past. Ozzy Smith, I used to think those studio cards were pretty cool. They really upped the ante there in, uh, what was that, 94 studio? 91 studio is pretty abysmal. <laughs> Everyone just looks kind of silly sitting there in kind of black and white. Marquise Grissom, he was a big name in the hobby. Back when he first broke into the league around, oh, 80, 89 or so, there's Jamie Moyer's second year card. Not a lot of Fleer, 88 Fleer in this run. Got some nine. It was at ninety four Donruss right here. Todd Jones, Bob Hamelin, Rafael Palmero, member of the five hundred home run club and three thousand hit club. That's a very rare club, but he'll never be in the Hall of Fame because of his steroid usage and his denial of it. And then he even went in front of Congress and denied it. And then he tested positive like two weeks later. Talk about bad timing. Hall of Famer there, Joe Torre in his Dodgers uniform. Sometimes forget about him and coaching and managing the Dodgers. And here we go. I hated this card as a kid. Jim Gott, former Pirates closer, sidelines card. Jim Gott flying through the air, delivering a roundhouse kick. And, uh, man, I don't know if Jim Gott had a card after this one. Did he have, like, a 93 card? This was a 92 pinnacle. His baseball career took him back to L.A. in 89. And I don't – I can't – I got to look at his – baseball reference page and see if he continued on but Jim Gott was the Pirates closer for a little while and uh he's kind of disappeared altogether a couple Joey Votto cards back to back Oscar Mercado rookie card a couple nice ones in here It'd be really cool if we had a Griffey Jr. rated rookie card here but Sandy Alomar that was a really big card back in the day as well in fact people for a while there wanted that card more than the Griffey everyone was all about Sandy Alomar seems like there's a bunch of just bust rookies from 1989 now Sandy Almar had a great career he went on to play over a decade in the big leagues but he never became the super superstar that everyone expected same thing with other guys around that era like Greg Jeffries and you know other guys from 89 like Jerome Walton that just kind of tailed off and disappeared we're gonna wrap this one up with Jim, Mike Schooler who's now a gym teacher we've got Dave Concepcion we've got Steve Bedrosian and we've got Chris Gwyn, Tony Gwynn's brother. And here we go. Last two autographs to take us to 10 autos in this video. First up, we've got Brian Burris. I do remember that name. This is an 07 Brian Burris rookie auto and Angel Guzman again. I wonder how many Angel Guzman cards they've thrown in these packs. That's the second in five packs. I do not remember him once again. So there you have it, folks. That is the Cosmic Gaming Two autographs. Now, it says in the description, I was expecting relics in there, but uh, they did not give us any relics. It says in this description here, I'll show you real quick. It says, includes two relics, autographs, or jersey cards guaranteed. We got nothing but autographs. Again, $18, four and a half, four, four and a half, it's actually 4.3 stars, $17.99 on Amazon. My rating on this, I'm going to give it, I'm between a D plus and a C minus on this one, I think. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go C minus because there was some Hall of Famers in there, and I'm also taking into account the fees that they have to pay. I'm guessing they're clearing about nine dollars per jewel case. And these jewel cases probably aren't cheap either. These probably cost them at least a dollar or two. There was some Hall of Famers in there. I like the uh, the premise of putting guaranteed hits in there. Although if you do buy this, you should expect. Two no-name hits. Um, probably not, I mean, if you get somebody that you've actually heard of, you've won, as you can see there. So there you have it. That is our third Amazon video in the past three weeks. I don't have any more lined up right now. Maybe I'll head on back to Amazon and see what else is out there and maybe pick something else up for maybe next week. But coming up this week, we have Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. Probably a double video for you. We'll probably do a standalone, and also we'll have... The Justin Harris live stream, Jay Claus series. I, I don't remember what series one. We've done so many of them. Justin always has great stuff, though. And then Tuesday, we'll have another brand new video. I think I'll do the Target haul. I went to Target this weekend, picked up some cards. About $125 worth of cards. We'll maybe rip all those open on Tuesday. Then there's a new release coming on Wednesday. I don't know if I'll have it for Wednesday, either Wednesday or Thursday. 
it will be the National Treasures, brand new National Treasures from 2020, 2022, and also this week on Throwback Thursday, I plan on ripping open the 2011 Tops Update box. I put that for sale on Patreon during the 12 Days of Cardmas. It did not sell out, so I'll see if I can sell a few more spots. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll rip what I have sold anyway, no matter what, on Thursday. So we'll rip those open on Thursday. It might only be... A few packs out of the jumbo box. It is a almost a ten thousand dollar box. We'll be chasing after the Mike Trout gold rookie card and also the Diamond Anniversary parallel from twenty eleven tops update. So thank you very much for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will see you all tonight in the auction. And if not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.